Okay, this is a part two of the video, and for some reason, and I'm not quite sure why, they tend to put BIOS underneath the heatsink. Somehow I think they know that people will be trying to mod it. So yeah, uh, let's open let's open well, for, let's open this GPU. And one thing I will be doing is since this uh, GPU is actual sorry since this uh, card has never been opened before. I will be, oh sorry, there is the bus chip is in here and this one is this one is actually 25x20 hmm. I might be trying to uh, use this chip and uh, maybe modify it, we'll see ok, so this one is definitely not the one and this one is, I need to see the specs of these two chips now, actually I started making this video, I thought that all of the biases were underneath, but it is, as it turns out this GPU and that GPU over there actually have it in here, which will make my job quite easier now, I did try to fix this card, but yeah, it kind of just exploded and trust me, it literally exploded so I will be trying to see whether I can uh, program the, the uh, file to this chip or to that chip and uh, well replace it. I'm not quite sure what is the difference between chips but I will be testing it so we'll see about that. Okay so I will be trying I actually googled and uh, basically the only main difference between these two chips should be the uh, size but they do look kind of same well, and this one might be a bit bigger, but regarding the technical specifications, I think that this, this, they are the same. So, what I will be doing is uh, trying to uh, start my software. So, okay, we have a next flash, and I will be loading my modded file, modded ROM, as you can see it loaded normally. Well, again, so did the other one. So, erase and try to program it. Okay, so far so good. And try to verify it. Okay, this one has been verified successfully. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so what I will be doing is uh, removing the uh, this chip. Okay. Now this box has been programmed with what I need and I will be removing this chip and trying to place it on the other card. Whether this thing will work or not I have no clue whatsoever. But since they are both ASUS and they are both the same voltages, this might actually work. Okay, so the chip is in here, this is the one that I removed and I will be trying to uh, well, solder it to the, uh, to the GPU that is not working, so let's try that. And yes, yeah, since actually I was a smart man and I did not solder everything uh, back together, I can actually remove this thing quite easily. Okay. That was quite easy actually. So everything is okay. This is not the best soldering, but I'm not aiming for this at the moment. Let's see whether this thing will boot or not. So yeah, I've uh, installed the card with the uh, new BIOS chip and uh, let's see whether this thing will turn on or not. So the card is blinking, 
which is always nice. Now let's see whether this thing will turn on. This bloody focus is killing me. This is... come on! Ha 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 ha! Fuck yeah! So, I rock. So, as you can see, the bloody BIOS chip was faulty. And, uh, yeah, so many... I think this might be working. Now, bear in mind, I did flash uh, the... Uh, the uh, modded version of BIOS. So, basically, uh, your card is working. Now, how awesome am I? So, yeah, I will be sending this thing back on Monday and uh, yeah that's it so yeah basically uh, I will be also showing you one more thing so but yeah basically this is uh, yeah this is working so yeah awesome okay so let's see whether it will boot or not okay it is booting and it is modded before I boot uh, everything up I will be shutting it down and well placing everything back together because None of the heat sinks are connected as they should and the uh, grease is not, uh, well, what it should be. So yeah, uh, be right back. You have just witnessed, this was a success and this bloody piece of shit has actually gone faulty. And uh, there is one way to fix this. You can actually repair this chip just by using this. And uh, if you press these two together and like this, oh, you see, it has been repaired. He said ironically. Anyway, now what I need to do is actually to disassemble everything, it put, will put everything back together. Uh, just to make this thing more, I would say, interesting, I will be peeling this thing off. Because, well, this is a protection sticker, obviously. And since, well, none of us have actually opened this GPU, I mean, I certainly didn't, you know. Well, I might, but. We'll be placing this sticker over here, so, and there you have it. Basically you can return this thing for warranty and nobody would even know that it has been opened. And when they see this, nobody will suspect anything. True story. Kids don't do that at home. Um, but yeah. Okay, so YouTube, there you have it. This thing is in perfect working order. Now, I did want to test it. I truly did. And I did install drivers, but unfortunately I have shitty Windows 7. Well, actually, I like Windows 7, don't get me wrong. But a shitty AMD driver with Windows 7 just tends to crash. And, uh... <laughs> and yeah, every time I... Uh... I tried to start miner, I, I ended up with my uh, miner crashing, then my windows crashing, then I just, yeah, I didn't want to do it. But anyway, the GPU is in perfect working order, and as you can see, everything can be repaired. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say, and uh, have a good day, and again, if you have any questions, please ask, leave in the comments down below, if you like, like, always would be nice for you to subscribe to my channel and subscribe to my other channel and that is pretty much it. Cheers!